Welcome back, Veggie Mike Ellis. Thanks for joining me. Today I want to talk to you about should meat be legal or other animal products, right? Should this seven-year vegan advocate or tell you to that I want to make meat illegal, right? So, so a lot of my vegan friends will not appreciate my next statement um, when I say this, but no, I actually don't think at this moment in history that we should make animal products illegal at this moment. Let me explain. My vegan friends, give me a second to explain why. So let's think about this realistically. So yeah, are we in a situation, and I'll get to this also later, are we in a situation where it's even possible that that's going to happen? Well, the only way that it would ever happen is if from the top down, some tyrannical force forced us uh, to do so, to give up meat. Well, I don't want to live in a world like that, right? So that a world like that is a world where... It's bad for humans, it's bad for animals, it's bad for everybody. You don't want some tyrant telling you you can you can't do something, something like that, like what you can eat. But, to my non-vegan friends, um, I have a follow-up to that at the end. But the point is that, in addition to the tyrannical problem we would face if this happened... Um, we also have a situation where it would go on the black market because you have everyone else wanting to eat meat. So if we made meat illegal tomorrow, how many people who want to eat steak would just go, I don't want steak anymore? Like, you're going to still want chicken. You're going to still want to eat this stuff. And somebody is going to produce it on the black market somewhere. And the animals would be in a really serious, horrible situation then, right? Now we're black market now. So that's, that's also horrifying for the animals. Another thing to address is, it's not really based in reality. So, no, in today's world, making it illegal without a tyrannical force that I don't want any part of to be used for that. The mass majority of people are not vegan, right? So most people want these things, again. So, yeah, black market, but also, you know, you have to face the fact that until we get more people to actually want this change in the world, that means living vegan. That means we need more people to be vegan in order for this to realistically even happen. So right now, vegans are maybe about 3% of the population in some reports I've seen, something like that. Whatever. It's a tiny amount of people, okay? So I'm not counting vegetarians. No offense, but it's just a, that's just a dietary choice. It's not an actual stand against animal products. You're just refusing to eat meat. All right, you know, that's fine, but it's not what vegan is. So, just to be clear, vegan is an avoidance of exploitation of animals in every way practicable, basically. That's basically the, the, the quick definition. Um, because using them is cruel. Because using someone for a, a purpose other than them just living their life and being able to doing their thing is cruel. Just like you wouldn't want your cat or dog to be used as a farm animal. You don't want to be a farm animal, right? And when I, when I speak, spoke of tyranny... Uh, Okay, so yeah, I'm against tyranny in the form of a government and a leadership, right? I'm also against tyranny against animals. I'm, I'm against dog fighting rings, right? Are you against dog fighting rings? I hope so. If you have a soul, you're against dog fighting rings. I'm just gonna go with that. So, if you're if you if you're for dog fighting rings, you can f off and just leave the channel. I, I tell about that. You're because you're a dirt bag. But most people are against dog fighting rings. Okay, why? Because it's cruel and it's it's it, and everybody accepts that it's cruel. Okay, we don't live in a world where everyone accepts that slaughterhouses are cruel. And until we do that and accept the fact that this is where the meat actually comes from, slaughterhouses and egg factories where they grind up the male chicks on the day they're born. Um, you know, this is reality. This is where 99% of these products come from. So yeah, when we're eating animal products, we're supporting factory farms. That's just fact. There's no way around it. The people all I hunt. Every, everybody who says they hunt, fine, okay, you hunt. But you're not getting the majority of your food from hunting. You're also going to the store. You're not actually boycotting uh, factory farms. But what is the tyranny of that? So we're all, I, I would say it's not the same thing. It's not the same thing. But it is in a way, if you were in a cage and somebody was going to eat you, wouldn't you feel like they were being tyrannical? to put you in a cage and eat you and use you to, for food. Wouldn't you think that those doing that to you were tyrannical ty tyrants that are enslaving and murdering you when they don't have to? Because I've been vegan seven years, so just, just saying. Like, I, used, I understand I used to think that, you know, we need animal products or protein. We don't. Um, but, but I thought that. I used to believe that. 
but aren't what wasn't I until I went vegan practicing um, tyranny on the animals I enslaved and put in slaughterhouses and had them, you know, you know, when they're babies and that just look it up, they're babies when it's done. So my point is that, um, are if we're against tyranny, if you're someone who's against the idea of making meat illegal, which I agree with you, it shouldn't be legal right now. I'll get to why, how maybe later, but, um, you know, I don't want tyranny. And if you're against tyranny, why are you, why is it okay to do this to animals and put them in the situation that you would think is tyrannical if you were in that situation? So, okay, so that out of the way, um, the only way we're going to get there, the only way that meat would ever be illegal and where it would be make sense and you don't need a tyrannical government to force it is when most people agree it should be illegal. It's when we change the paradigm. It's when enough people like you and me decide, you know what? Holy crap. It's actually not fair that I do this to animals. And if I claim I love them, how could I do this to them? I wouldn't put a cat or dog in this situation. Why is it okay to do to a chicken or a pig or a cow or whatever? Right? Think about it. Think about that double standard because that's what it comes down to. That's what it comes down to. Do animals have moral value at all? And if any of them have moral value, if cats and dogs have moral value, then they all have moral value or that none of them have moral value. And we're just a bunch of psychopaths and we don't care. I'm just saying, make up your mind. Like, what side of that are you on? And yep, it's black and white. Either animals have moral value and it's wrong to hurt them if we don't have to. Survival's different. Being attacked and being, I'm going to starve to death and I go hunt. I'll hunt with you. If I'll tell you what, to the hunters, if it gets to a point where we can't go to the store anymore, okay, and, and, and it's the end of society and I have to survive, I'll go hunting with you. I have a crossbow and I know how to use it, okay? And I'll go shoot a deer right in the face, okay? in a survival zombie apocalypse level situation, okay? Until then, I would ask that you go vegan in the world we live in now, right? Think about it. I'm not trying to be sarcastic and judgy. I mean, I didn't do it till I was 42 years old, but I'm just saying, like, if you're against tyranny and you're against the idea of somebody forcing you to do something, think about what we're forcing animals through. You can choose to go vegan. That's what I want. I want people to choose to face what reality of what we're putting animals through Take, take my own personal accountability like I did at 42 and said, I can't do this to animals anymore. I won't do this to them anymore. I'm vegan now. I'm done. I'm done. I'm not putting babies in grinders anymore. If you're down with that, that's what happens in the egg industry to the males. Look it up if you want. It's, it's a fact. It's industry standard. They grind them up. The day they're born, they put them in a grinder. Just saying. That's what made me go vegan. It pissed me off. It's not okay. Right? Is it okay? I say it's not okay. Yeah, if you're against tyranny like I am, go vegan. Thanks for watching.